I awoke to the sounds of Lily's gentle snores as they drifted across the bedroom loft. She was still fast asleep and I needed to keep it that way, or suffer the consequences. Creaky floorboards meant that the simple act of getting dressed will require a little ingenuity. My boots are nearby, but I need to put on my trousers first. This wasn't my first rodeo. My trousers were just out of reach. Morning, Dougal. My boots are nearby, but I need to put on my trousers first. This wasn't my first rodeo. My trousers were just out of reach. My trousers were just out of reach. Lily made a fish and marmalade sandwich for me the day before. I didn't have the heart to refuse, but I wasn't about to eat it. about the sweater while Lily was still calling it. Lily was a sprawl of limbs, and my sweater was pinned beneath her. I needed to find a way to roll her over without waking her. Clutches, but it was still out of reach. Even with the stick, I couldn't reach that far. I couldn't leave. I wasn't even dressed yet. Just let me take it. But maybe you'd be interested in a trade. I had to wait until his mouth was open. I wondered if I could swap the sweater for the stick without him even noticing. Any more rolling, and I'd see that sandwich again. my cue to sneak out of there. I decided I'd cycle to the nearby town. Maybe I'd find someone willing to hire me. Maybe I'd find someone who knew where my dad had gone. But first, I had a few things to take care of. Cooking utensils hung from the wall by the fire, for now at least. 
I'd recently made Lily a small wooden sword so she'd have something else to swing around. I picked up the jug. I'd need water to make Lily's breakfast. Lily's dress was hanging from the line. I didn't need to take it down for her. She developed her own technique for that. I think you relocated so you won't be responsible for waking Lily. You and me both, buddy. The doors of the cupboard where we kept the dishes were tied closed. For all the good it did, I'm pretty sure Lily chewed through them last time. Dad's compactable footstool seemed like a great idea. I wasn't sure why it hadn't taken off. I only ever saw the transmitter active on a few occasions. During those times, I kept the shed high. There was a solid block of wood next to the pump. I needed something to collect. pump handle had snapped, leaving only a small section of it protruding from the pump. It was going to take something heavy to force it down. I don't think that would have helped. The door wasn't locked, but something was blocking on the other side. Dad converted the garden shed into his personal workshop when he decided he wanted to work for himself. He'd only spend every waking hour in there, inventing, tinkering, but it had been days and there was no sign of him. The receiver attached to the shed received something from the transmitter, which in turn rotated the wheels to move the belt along in order to... Uh, I had no idea. Sometimes I think Dad added contraptions to his contraptions just to throw me off. I tried to keep some things out of Lily's reach, but it never worked. I don't think that would have helped. It was Dad's idea to put the memorial stone by the wall. It was on his favorite place to have a picnic. My father had notions of turning to farming when he left his job. He never signs behind. Taken into his willfulness, it was often easier to indulge your creativity than f ask her to do something. In this case, the gnome was a spy who informed me of when Lily wandered too far from the house. My trusty bicycle was my main method of transport and definitely didn't require any modifications. 
despite what my father said. <sighs> Strange light? No, oh, it's a package from my father. Arthur, this is the last of the small crystals. I hope this was worth giving up your job for. I'm still finding the whole notion difficult to believe. I'm tempted to make a trip to your home to see it with my own eyes. But the fact that you keep the generator in your bedroom is quite unsettling, to say the least. If what you say about the lesser crystals is true, then I fear what may happen when this company begins experimenting on the large one. It's still safe for now, but I don't think it'll be possible to smuggle it out of here without anyone noticing. Given the apparent results of your own experiments, it's possible they'll listen to your warning. However, it's more likely they'll see nothing other than the potential for profit. For now, I'll do my best to impede their research. Stay safe, my friend. Nina. The strange crystal was obviously important to my father. I couldn't help but wonder if it had anything to do with going missing. I decided to do a little snooping around. Now that I had a lead on my dad's whereabouts, I definitely couldn't leave. Located so he won't be responsible for waking Lily. You and me both, buddy. I don't think that would have helped. If I went back up there, I'd wake Lily, and I did not want to do that. The door was unlocked, but something was blocking on the other side. place later. I needed a temporary workaround. I only ever saw the transmitter active on a few occasions. During those times, Dad would have kept the shed door locked tight. Lily's dress was hanging from the line. I didn't need to take it down for her. She developed her own technique for that. I 
don't think that would have helped. I tried to keep some things out of Lily's reach, but it never worked. Notions to turn to farming when he left his job. He never could leave signs behind. Now that I had a lead on my dad's whereabouts, I definitely couldn't leave. Taking into account Lily's willfulness, it was often easier to indulge her creativity than flat out ask her to do something. In this case, the gnome was a spy who informed me of when Lily wandered too far from the house. The lights in the shed only came on when Dad's generator was running. I hadn't figured out how it worked yet though. It wasn't your average generator. It looked like the pitchfork had fallen from its resting place. I couldn't see a thing, and the idea of walking around a room in the dark, where my father invented things, made me nervous. Pitchfork wasn't heavy enough by itself to make the handle bridge. Yet another impressive feat of engineering.
I only ever saw the transmitter active on a few occasions. During those times, Dad would have kept the shed door locked tight. I don't think that would have helped. I've had better ideas. I've had better ideas. I've had better ideas.